Hello and welcome. Have you ever spent weeks and months trying to learn coding but don't see any significant progress? Probably because you are making one of the mistakes that I'm about to show you. And how do I know that? It's because I make every single one of them myself. I wish somebody has yelled at me and told me not to do so. But mistakes are a part of life. They make me become a better programmer. So in this video, I will explain 4 coding learning mistakes that hold beginners back. I hope this video will help you save time and get you where to want to be faster. Without further ado, let's dive in. The first mistake is focusing on memorization and not understanding. When I first learned programming, I thought I had to remember everything. I thought if I knew everything, I could be a genius and build the next Facebook. I tried to stop every syntax, every features, and every framework in my head until the point where my head was about to explode, I realized this deadly mistake. Our human brain has capacity, but there are thousands of frameworks and languages, so it's unrealistic to remember everything. And you don't need to know everything to become a good developer. Even the best programmers I know, they only know the fundamentals of the tools they use. So a better strategy is understanding the pattern. So for example, let's say you try to build a backend API. You may need to know what an API is and how the frontend interacts with backend APIs. But you don't need to know the details how to build a backend API using Flask. You can always do a quick Google search and figure out the details. The next rookie mistake is getting out of the tutorial hell. During my first two years of learning programming, I don't know how much time I wasted watching videos without doing anything. I thought I was productive, but in reality, I just tried to get more dopamine hit and avoid the hard work. I soon realized that consuming without applying is a complete waste of time. My brain will forget everything after a while because I never use it. So I started to take more actions and my skill improved significantly. So an actionable tip here is get out of the tutorial hell and start building something. I know it's scary and hard, but that's why it's called hard work. It's supposed to be difficult. Here are all the courses I have on my Udemy account. I signed up for these courses a couple of years ago and I tried to learn all of them at once. But in reality, I didn't finish a single course. To be honest, for some course like game development or mobile development, I couldn't recall anything. Because at that time, I was egotistic. I thought I could learn everything at once. But this is another serious mistake. Our human brain has certain capacity. If I put in my head something that I don't need, I will forget something that I need to remember. And that means I will not master anything. I understand that as a beginner, you may have heard of a lot of fancy terms like machine learning, full stack development, cybersecurity, blockchain, etc. They look fancy on the outside, but in reality, they are not. So stop getting distracted, pick one topic, and become very good at it first. You can always build new skills later on. For me, I spent the majority of my undergraduate study improving my leak code and full stack development skill. Now I'm quite comfortable with them, I decided to spend more time exploring machine learning. The final mistake is imposter syndrome. I think everyone faces it even experienced programmers. Oh, what if I'm not good enough? Oh, why other people are better than me at programming? Is it because I'm dumb or something? I have these thoughts in my head sometimes too, but the answer is no. Nobody is better than you at programming. They may have more success than you, but they are not better than you. They have more success usually because they have more time to work on it. I have a friend who's currently a software engineer at Apple right now, He's 24 years old, just like me. I usually compare myself to him and feel like I'm not enough. But I realized that that was not a fair comparison. He started writing code when he was 12, and he also do competitive programming when he was in high school. I started writing my first line of code when I was 18. So it's a six year gap in knowledge. I can catch up to his level, but I need time. So whenever you have self-doubt, just push through it. It's not real. If you keep doing what you need to do, you will get to where you want to be. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoy it. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. That support the channel a lot. 
and I will see you in the next video. Peace.